told by the way I'm going live and then she starts talking. But it's okay, because it's all casual. We're all friends here. Nobody's watching anyway yet. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Welcome. Good day, gamers. Welcome once again to another Game Master Dave Plays. Now, I might have... I've had problems with Civ 6 before, so let's see if uh, that is solved. Looks like the music died on me. Uh, anyway, we're going to try this out. I think it was because I was playing with other guys, uh, so my computer couldn't handle everything. So uh, leave us a comment, suggestion. I was going to do some Dominions 5 tonight, my late age game, but um, I couldn't get into the server. So I've recently been picking up Civilization 6 again. I've got Gathering Storm and a few other downloaded content. So let's level up and let's see what we can do here. All right, so Alpha Centauri, Alpha Centauri there you go. I'm going to do single player. I'm going to create a new game. Um, I like random leaders. I don't know if Prince is a good is a good style. I like Fractal. Where's that Fractal? Because I like it. Uh, that's the random map, I believe. If you've played a lot of this, you can help me out. Email me at dave at gamemastergames.com if you'd like me to get a better computer. Help us out by sending a dollar to my PayPal or Venmo. After you watch this event, you should find those links down below. If you don't find the links, email me at dave at gamemastergames.com. Look, tef, tech and civic shuffle mode, I did not like that before. Barbarian clans mode. Um, you know, I, I'm going to play with it. Disaster intensity will keep it with two. Uh, advanced setup, I'm not too sure I want to do this. I'm just going to go with whatever it is, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't want to mess with any of this. Okay, so let's start the game. It's probably going to take like a half hour with my computer to get this game up and running, but uh, hey, it is. Uh, chat is open. Welcome to Game Master Dave Plays, where we randomly play a whole bunch of stuff. Recently, it's been a lot of Dominions, but I would like to branch out again back to EVE or Hearts of Iron or Europa Universalis or a million other games that I like to play. I was just watching some Napoleon Total War recently. That seemed uh, really wild. And also, just realize that this might jam up and this stream will be lost because I don't know if my computer can handle Civ 6 and streaming. But we will find out. So how are you, all of you out there? You can even leave comments when this gets ported over to YouTube. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button or follow or whatever. It's free. It's completely free to subscribe on YouTube. And oh, who am I? The great beasts of the stone age. Uh. A man taking his first upright steps. You have come far. I've never played this nation. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, come toward the stars. Does he mean literally the stars? The Mapuche, young Lotharu. You inspired them to free themselves. That's right. Build totems to honor your ancestors and embolden their descendants. Such pride will fill the hearts of your cavalry as they redouble mm. their raids into enemy lands. Cavalry. You stand with the Mapuche at bay and cast a singular shadow. How much money? Did they pay the Lord of the Rings guy to, to read this? Uh, read this, unbelievable. All right, so I am unfamiliar with this nation, so let's take a look. Swift Hawk plus ten combat strength when fighting free cities. Interesting. Uh, or civilizations that are in the Golden or Heroic Age. Defeat. You okay, my love? My love is coughing up a storm over there. Defeating an enemy unit within the borders of an enemy city causes that city to lose 20 loyalty and 40 loyalty if the civilization is in golden or heroic age. 
So that's interesting. So there's a couple conditional things there, which I don't really like that much. Um, so I gotta remember. So this is cool. Plus ten combat strength when fighting free cities or civilizations in golden or heroic age. That's probably all I'm gonna remember. Defeating an enemy unit with the borders of an enemy city within the borders of an enemy city causes that city to lose twenty loyalty and forty loyalty. If the city, okay, so basically what it is is if I go attack units within a city, enemy units within a city, like. It scares the heck out of the population, and they they feel very nervous, I guess, is what they're trying to say, and they lose loyalty towards that civilization. Okay. Oh, boy. Toki. I have I don't, no idea how to pronounce that. Cities with an established governor provide plus 5 culture. I'm sorry, plus 5% culture. What's this other one? Oh, no, plus 5% culture. Plus 5% production. Interesting. So I need to get governors out. And a plus 10% experience in combat towards units all trained in the city. So governors. And it looks like I'm a raider. Really, that's what it says down here. I think Milan raider. These numbers are tripled in cities not founded by the Mapuche. Wow. All cities within nine tiles of a city with your governor gain four loyalty. Huh. Malon raider. I don't no idea what that is. And Chemuel. Let's see where we are. Civilization has accomplished something historic. Worthy of being celebrated and remembered huh. for generations to come. These accomplishments help our civilization reach a golden age and avoid the dark age. So each of the historic monuments will increase our era score. Moments, I'm sorry, will increase our error score. Our error score determines which age we will earn in the next game area, so we should seek out those historic moments when possible. Steam hisses from the ground here. Ooh, rising in I'm the right, right next to a uh, geothermal fissure. Geothermal fissure. That's a nice. Place where the planet's heat escapes through natural vents. Nice, look at that. I'm right. Having discovered another continent, maybe just by starting the game, I get foreign trade boosted. I'll take it. And by the way, I don't mind backseat gaming or chatting, so check me out. Okay, so here is the thing that I... Well, where are those, where are those steaming fissures? Is that them? Where are those fissures? Didn't it say steaming fissures were somewhere close? Is that them? That must be them. That is not within the city limits. It could be within another city. Oh, if I move here. Why don't I move here? Oh, no, then I don't get any production from these mountains, right? Oh, boy. I, I, I you know, I, I usually like to stay on the coast so I can have some, have some, uh, have some, have some, um, production but really I think I should move over here let's move what do we have here we got uh, we got a settler let's go to uh, let's go to who's next is it guys a scout no I got a warrior yeah that's it okay so I just got the warrior so maybe let's move this way so we can see a little bit more <laughs> or not <laughs> yeah look this has got research one I really like to be on coastlines, but let's take advantage of all the goodies that we have, even though, even though we're going to be delayed to make a city two turns. I think it's much better get that natural uh, resource. We'll build something else along the coastline. And look, I got woods, I got sheep. This would be a great city spot, somewhat away from the mountains. All right, so we got the foreign boost of trade. I'm not really teaching how to play Civ Six. I'm not too sure I know exactly how to play all of the stuff of Civ Six. I do know, I do know a bit. I do know quite a bit, but certainly, um, you know, you can put some suggestions in chat. I have no problem with that at all. New continent discovered. That's amazing. You get a new continent right when you start the game. And chat looks like it's not chat, but uh, stream looks like it's staying up pretty good. Welcome, um, Game Master Dave plays. We're playing some Civilization Six. 
All right, so we need to clear up as much territory as uh, not territory, but you know, um, I need to go looking for this. The, the so, ooh, wow, actually, so look at all the tundra around me and everything. Um, for some reason, I'm am I in strategy view? No, no, I wasn't. Okay, so they're gonna go here, and let's see if I still have time to found a city. Yeah, I do. I think this is gonna be the best bet here. Cool, yo. The Gulu Mupu. I, 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 if, if I'm butchering this language, I apologize. Um, okay, so. I usually go for the cheapest, unless it's something that's really going to help us out. Did we need, we need animal husbandry to get that milk, although it's a little bit far away from where we need animal husbandry for that, too. That one requires irrigation. So I think animal husbandry is where it is. All right, choose production in the city. So uh, here's my strategy, and people call me crazy. I build wide, and I sometimes I leave cities completely unprotected. People think I'm ridiculous. But the strategy seems to work well for me, especially not against non-human players. They normally aren't that ag too aggressive early. So sometimes I find myself with like six cities while other players might only have like one or two. And, um, but then some of them will be undefended and some of them will have like, uh, my military will be very tiny usually. I try to play as peaceful as possible. Not, it's not always possible, of course. I'm making that scout. I'm going to get another population in seven turns. I got some good, let's go down here. Let's check out down here. Oh. Means it has flooded before and might burst the place Ooh, again. Nice. A flood along this river could happen at any point in the future. That's right. This presents us with risks, but potentially benefits too. If you live on Long Island in New York or New York City, I would love to uh, hear from you. Dave at GameMasterGames.com. All right, so where was that floodplains? Well, we could we could go through this grain here. This looks like another really nice site for a city somewhere over here. Checking stuff out. Look at that. What are those? I don't even know what those are. It's not cotton. All right, well, we're going to get a scout in just a couple more turns. They can go down this way. My warrior will continue to move down here. There's some nice rivers down. Oh, hello. Have made a request of us. Hi, Mexico City. Them, I think they will reward us handsomely. I think they will reward us handsomely. Yes, although they're going to take this spot. That is cotton. Uh, yes. So given a new quest, Re Eureka for bronze working, and uh, you have met a representative from the city-state of New Mexico. Fantastic. He just walked right through me. At least we haven't found any barbarians yet. We do not like the barbarians. Uh, what is that? Salt. Interesting. Oh, oh, th hey, there's my first little village site, right? Tribal village. We're going to be heading that direction. Okay, so I got one more round to get a scout, which is fantastic. And, yep, yeah, I have found a tribal village. My warrior is going to be heading that way. This is so early in the game, but that's okay. We're going to get pretty in-depth. Like scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. All right. Hey, and I'm blue. It's my favorite color. Several closely what? situated granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth dramatically soar about a kilometer into the sky. Dude, I got the... We are golden. I got a natural wonder. Look at this. Astrology was boosted. I got plus three era score. I'm killing it, dude. Killing it. All right, so now 
Um, see, I don't really want a warrior. I'm going to build this monument. I think I have a special monument, don't I? Let's go back to that... Uh, I thought I was supposed to have some sort of special monument. Uh, it doesn't say that. I, I mean, I do have a special monument. I just don't know when it comes up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. No problem. Unit needs orders. Yes, Mr. Scout Guy. Let's go through these fissures and check them out. I got lots of wheat down here. I got lots of production all over the place. We're going to be good. We're going to be good. Okay. Next turn, I gotta get that uh, village. Next, next turn, I am not producing very much culture. Let's go find some stuff, boys. Hurry up! Let's go see what we got here. Oh no, I missed what it said. <laughs> what the heck did it say? Breath gifts is the joys. <laughs> How do you see your notes? Like, what did that, what did that village get us? Oh, your people celebrate historic moment. Villagers bring gifts as they join our civilization. They join our civilization. Heck yeah. Oh, they made another scout. Oh, okay. Yeah. We like, we like. Oh, hello. Let's go north. Let's see what's up here. Don't think there's going to be much salt. Uh, we're probably not going to get that salt anytime soon. I usually build on the coastline. This is new for me. If I have a coastline. Because um, this is like... Uh, oh. Hello, Mr. Barbarian. Oh. Yeah, we don't like the barbarians. We're going to attack them. We don't want that scout to get anywhere near my civilization, or else all of a sudden just this torrent of jerks are going to be coming. And I've hit the northern boundary of this continent. And it's cold up here. Let's go back. The warrior will be happy to explore up there somewhere. Huh. Oops. Yeah, let's go here. Can't see much. That was probably a waste. Uh, new housing I I am needing. So, yes. 46 turns the next population growth. Well, that's not good. Um, Alright, you're barely wounded. Let's go find out where these guys hang out. Right. Oh, hello. I see you. But they're not going we're going to head down this way. Um, that's fine. And you're going to head this way. Uh, I might have hit the southern border already. Darn it. Uh, we are going to need to expand quick. Quickly expand. Quickly. Let's get going. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Yes. Oh, where'd that guy go? He ran away. Hope he didn't go down south and sneak it up behind me. Okay, so let's see. Where do I need to explore? I guess I need to explore that direction. Let's go here. Do, 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 do. Let's go here. See what's on. What is that thing? What is that? Just rocks? Rocky Out Cliff, I guess? Choose research! Alright, I got a six at mining, and I got a six at pottery. So, mining... I probably need to get pottery first. I don't have any Eurekas on them. I guess they're just so small level, right? I guess so. Alright, Mr. Scout. Where did you go? Let's go find your home. Ooh, nice. Let's go that. Oh, hello. Oh, that's Mexico City. We're not scared of you. Mm. We're going this way. Hopefully there's more continent down this way. Whoa. 
Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks, Mexico City. Oh, yeah, push them right up towards me. Good job. I can get some good experience. We're going to take those guys out. We still don't know where the little settlement is. Ow! Take that. Ow! That was not very nice. That was not very nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, I saw my friend Jared streaming the other day. That was pretty cool. I was going to get a Dominions 5 turn in tonight, but it just didn't work out. Oh, Barbarian Outpost spotted somewhere. Oh, it's over here. I missed it. I completely walked by it. Looks like it's undefended, unless I just can't see it. So, where's this unit needs orders? We're not going that way. Okay. We'll end the turn there. Uh, we are going back this way. Uh, which way we going? Cool. Oh, I found somebody. Pedro! The second says, Good day, it's an honor to meet you in person. It seems great minds do attract to each other. Yes, and it's an honor to meet you. Come to Brazil! Do you know how to dance samba? It doesn't matter. You will enjoy the carnival regardless. We would love to sample your hospitality. Look at that. My knowledge to writing is boosted. We're doing great, I think. Look at this. I met another civilization. Plus one era score. We're already up to nine. We're kick killing it. I'm just trying to stay positive. <laughs> Will you receive our diplomatic delegation? Absolutely. Your delegation is more than welcome. Mm. Where are these guys? Oh, they are here. Oh, we need to move here. Okay. Oh, they got spearmen. We're going to die. Okay, so now... Let's move him this way. And let's move him that way. Oh, look at that. Silver. And geothermal fissure. I'm liking it. We got to get some. Um, we are going to have to get. Oh, no. <laughs> like I told you, I do need my homes undefended. No. Okay, go to laws. <laughs> I hope that scout doesn't walk into my place. Game over. Okay, so I like this plus five combat strength for those guys, right? And I like these two. You know, this gives plus one faith and plus one gold in the capital, but I think plus one production for cities is much better. That's just what I normally do. If you have a different strategy, let me know. Alright, so they are going to need to... Oh, should they go out to the scout? They're going to need to heal up in order to try to take on these spearmen, and they're going to lose against the spearmen. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Oh, hello, Alexander. My wife was just reading an article about Alexander, actually. The king of the pharaoh... The king and the pharaoh, the undefeated general of Greece. Surely you've heard of me? Yes, it's an honor to meet you. Come and visit the nearest of us cities. Walk amongst the bustling agor agori of Macedon and see how... I'm butchering these words. Um, oh, boy. They're level two. Mexico City's level two. I'm level two. <sighs> Let's go up this way. Looking for barbary and outposts. Okay, look at this. I am destroying it. I wonder. I got to get. Whoa. Uh, I got to get 25. That's a lot. Okay. Yes, I saw that. So I should definitely do foreign trade. 15. Stay away from Nagulo, you scout. Nothing's going on? Did I already do stuff? Wow. 
No. <laughs> Stay no away. <laughs> so I get some good housing from this. We need that. Horses. I, I just saw a horse over there. Wow, silver. We have to take advantage of that. But who was over? Wasn't there a person over here? Oh, boy. Yes, uh, Brazil was over here. And there's Venice. Yep. Okay, so we got pottery. Okay, so astrology is eight. Mining is six. Uh, farm a resource. See, it, getting these boosts sometimes is really good, but found a city on the coast. That's a meet another civilization. We got that already. But we might want, need this mining. So I think I'm going to go there. I'm open to suggestions. Okay, so they made a monument. A granary is only eight, but really, honestly, they should probably make a warrior, I think. Or should they do a slinger? Ugh, I hate to, to waste five turns on a warrior that I don't need, but... Uh, actually, let's change the production to a slinger, because it's only four turns. And then, I doubt we can buy it. We only have 115. I got zero faith. Next turn. Oh, man. Good. Run away. Go back home. Let's see what we can find over here. Nice rivers on this continent. What is that? I think it was just stone. Okay. Hopefully that galley doesn't attack us. Um, oh, that was it for my turn? Yikes. Oh, because I crossed the river. I've dispatched a trade delegation bearing gifts of the finest wine and olive, and oil, olive oil to Macedon has to offer. Yes, your delegation is most, most welcome. I got no smiley faces yet, though. Come on, we need... We're going to hit the western border of this continent already? Uh, yes, I know. I need more housing. Um, wow, a lot of tundra. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. We are... I don't know, man. I'm not too sure. Hey, Will! Uh... <laughs> what will Dominion... <laughs> By seeing another game, what will Dominions think? <laughs> Yeah, so, um, wow, inspiration. Your contract with other states has crystallized your ideas. Yes. How did I get the inspiration? I wasn't watching. I was reading the chat. <laughs> hey, Will, um, I tried to sign in. Uh, the, 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 I was going to do the late age game, but the, uh, the server was down. It might be up now, but I, just, I started playing this one. City-states meeting bonus. At the first major civilization to meet the Nagazarazami city-state, you have earned one envoy there. Bonus? And I guess I got a boost in philosophy. That's given you a new uh, thing. Okay. Cool. Let's check out that city state. That's not what I want. I am not leading anything. City state. So I got to do an archer. I got to do Eureka for bronze working. And I got to construct an encampment. And look at the bonus. I get plus two production in my city. In my capital, I'm sorry. So this is actually good news. I'm happy to hear these. Now these. Oh, did they attack me? No, they didn't attack me. Okay. It's these guys that attacked me. What are these things? Three leaf. Oh, you know, I chose that interesting barbarian mix up. But I got a major victory against these guys. Oh, I didn't eliminate them. I got a promotion possible available. Okay, so since we know where that, what's going on over there, let's head this way. Uh, da, 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 da. Will, I'm sure you have played Dominion 6, right? You must have. Oh boy, I'm not making much progress over this way. Uh, 
Uh, this looks like it's going to be the eastern end. Oh, I didn't see where that happened. Oh, awesome. Civ 6, I still prefer 5. Interesting. Lots of good ideas in 6, but I don't think it holds together as well. Just not as fun to play. Interesting. Well, there you go, chat. If anybody else, else has a different opinion, please disagree with Will. Will is our fantastical leader in our Dominion's Middle Age game. That is a cooperative game. Look at this. Available for promotion. Uh, yeah, combat strength versus melee and range units. Yes, we're taking that one. And we healed a bit, which is good. And I'm going to get a minor victory against these guys, even though they are spearmen. That's even better. Okay, so I made a slinger to protect that town, which is fine. Great bath, plus three housing, plus one amenity. Interesting, but I think granary is much more important. And then am I level... F no, I'm not. So I am not... Le it's going to give me one plus one food. You mean Civ 6. Um, wait, what, what was I saying? Will is our leader in Dominion's 5 Middle Age cooperative game. That's what I mean. So I'm not sure I know what you mean. Fortify. So I, I actually think I skipped from 6-4 to 6, I'm sorry, Civ 4 to Civ 6. I did not play 5. So actually, I do not have any opinions of it. I'm going to get 4 in trade. I'm going to get 2 advancements. Oh, I did. <laughs> Will says I said Dominion 6 early when I was referring to Civ 6. Yeah, it's a little confusing, right? And I should not have gone there. I should have gone over here. Okay. Uh, is that a land? I guess that's a land. A little bit of a land bridge up there. Oh, I forgot. I got this village. I got to go to the village. Darn it. Village hunting is what I'm doing. Just trying to explore the world. Okay, these guys. Yeah, we. With one of these terrains is probably better for defense. I don't think it uh, makes a difference. Minor victory. Oh. What the heck happened? Nope, go back. I did something like... I don't know. I don't know what I was going to do. Okay, so these guys are going to go here. I'm assuming there's not much exciting over there because we want to go to this village. And we got a hidden... T they know how to do the wheel. I just learned the wheel. Did you see that? That was exciting. We gotta go find more villages. Alright, so we know what's over the that side, so let's not go there. Oh boy. Let's go here. Didn't can't see much. I don't like where these mountains are. Get rid of these mountains. Oh yeah, the people celebrate this moment. Get a plus one civ score. Now we gotta get up to twenty five. <laughs> I don't see that happening. I saw that already. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, you go home. And... You, whoa! What are you doing, dudes? Get back in there. When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Ah. Uh, you are too funny, Sean Bean. Okay, um... Major victory, major victory. But I'm gonna be wounded... 20, he's got 20 versus my 30, he's got 25 versus my 30. Maybe if I move here, then attack this guy, this other guy won't come out and attack me. See, I got strategies. I got the strategy. Mm, why can't I go there? Not enough movement. Tundra. I'm wondering if I'm going to find something interesting in the tundra. Huh. Truffles. I could get some truffles. Actually, Venice is going to get the truffles. Okay, so 8 and 13. I got another 8. I got writing. I, have, I don't have a game plan. I need, I need a game plan. Okay, here's some faith. Stonehenge. Holy sight. What's more important? This one? I don't 
I need that irrigation for something, but we'll get that soon. Next turn. So he attacked me. I should beat him back, but I am injured. I am really injured. Nice. Furthering this endeavor will allow us to appoint a governor to strengthen our power in our city. That's what I like. I remember I got the governor thing. Yep, Civ 6 changed it to that if you don't have the movement points, you can't move into the hex, right? Yeah, this governor stuff, that's one of my strengths. Uh, so do I want to change this? I got uh, plus two for go from... Uh, I don't think so. Uh, nope, towards naval units. Nope. nope, 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 nope. We're changing. Well, I'm sorry, we're not changing. Okay, so now I think I need to fortify until healed. I could back up to the woods. No, he's not. He's not going to attack me. That would be silly on his part. <gasps> Another village. Yes, you are grateful. Look, they gave me another scout. Th and I got another era score. Earlier, Civ said that you could, then couldn't move anymore after. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, this is the bomb. This is the most villages I've found in this game in a while. Okay. And increase trade route. You are now able to maintain trade routes. Okay. And I got a civic. Um, so 11 is craftsman. Oh, there's the chamomile. So let's see what this does. Ooh, culture equal to 75% of the tiles appeal. Additional tourism after reaching flight, researching flight. Minimum appeal of breathtaking. Cool. Yeah. Not only is it the cheapest one to get, but we want that, our special doohickey. Who is this that needs orders? Scouts. Where can this scout go? I guess scout can go down here. Right, we're going to head south. Going south, young man. Uh, skip turn. So, er, early exploration is a lot of fun. Stellaris 1, I think, has that the best. Yes, I, I, yeah, it, is, it, is, it is exciting to explore early in Stellaris. You're right. You can find a lot of cool stuff. New continent discovered. All right. I, don't, I never understood what the whole purpose of new continents was. That, that was one thing this game could have done without. Like, like, do you get a bonus for being in a different continent? I really don't think so. He came out and attacked me even though I was fortified. What a bonehead. You've all right, bronze working has advanced. I'll take it. Yeah, he yeah, he's yeah, he's fortifying. Okay, you completed a quest for Mexico City State and re was rewarded one envoy. And so now I'm getting plus two bonus in the capital. Oh, for wonders, buildings and districts. This is plus two production of capital for units. I'll take it. Will says, yeah, there are some rules, I think. Governors and some civ powers, depending on continents. Okay, so I guess the governors is something to do with the different continents. I guess so. Uh, what did I get here? Oh, I got that tech one. Okay, so now which way was I going? Let's go here. Who is this guy? Okay, I got astrology in six turns. Oh. What are you doing, dude? Oh! He got me. Oh, that was frustrating. Okay, so now I got to do something else. Horses. More cotton. Uh.
Uh, yeah, he's like he's like aggressive, man. That guy's aggressive. Uh, okay, we'll go this way. Bananas. What's this? Cocoa. Um. What happened? Oh, I found somebody new. Rapa Nui. I am the first to meet the Rapa Nui, so I get a guy there, which is plus two culture in the capital. Nice. And the Rapa Nui has given you a new quest to trigger an inspiration for military tradition. All right. So, but we do not want to. We need to keep going for those villages or whatever I can find. And now I need to think, be thinking about a settler. Start our expansion. Workers and settlers. You're, you're going east, young man. Nope, end of your turn. Oh no. Oh no, I got a I got a slinger. Nope, you can't sling. Choose production. Oh, okay. That uh uh that great bath seems nice, but now I think it's more important. More important to get the builder? Yeah, I think it is. Because I got to get the builder because we got to get up to three because I think we lose a population. Uh, so let's get a builder going out there and doing some cool stuff. And then uh, let's go up here. Let's go back and scout this way. Let's go back and scout that way. Deer. Okay, and then I gotta build also a warrior of some sort because I gotta go take those other guys out. Hmm. I got too much to do. What? What was that? A barbarian camp? I can't do much because I have only a measly scout. <gasps> Another barbarian gray shark. Yeah, we're going back this way. Gray shark, you can have up there. You seem very lonely. Very lonely in the north. All right, I'm going to be ending soon. I do hope that you uh, have liked this game. I'd love any feedback, comments, questions. Oh, I'm going to wait one more turn. Let's get that astrology. Um... There's a lot of woods over here, making it hard travels. Hard. Oh, Brazil. There's Rio de Janeiro. There's some crabs. Lots of crabs. Lots of crabby crabs. Uh, skip. All right. So have a good night. Thanks. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, Will. Thanks so much for checking in and watching for a bit. All right, everybody, I think I'm going to save it there because we'll get some cool stuff next turn. And uh, great, until we meet. Uh, so anyway, give yourself 100 experience points for watching, the uh, watching my game. I hope you enjoyed what I did so far. Send me any feedback, questions, comments, suggestions at Dave at GameMasterGames.com. If you live on Long Island, don't forget to go to GameMasterGames.com and check out the lo uh, lo uh, lo uh, local events. And Will has a website called The Game Map for those also on Long Island, New York. And PsyCon is uh, Friday and Bethpage a Saturday. Now, today is the – that's the 10th of September. So you might see this much later on YouTube. That's the year 2022. And also, um, what's his face is uh, – not what's his face, but uh, Bethpage Library tomorrow night, September 9. Come play some board games with us if you live on Long Island. And so we will see all of you soon. Uh, Will, don't forget, every time that you're on a stream, go ahead and post up the Game Map, game map uh, website. You have my permission. So give yourself 100 experience points for watching the event tonight. 
whether you see it now or later on YouTube. And until we meet again across the internet, keep your mice dry, your keyboards ready, and your warriors. That guy is coming in to hit my slinger. I'm not happy. Your warrior's strong. Or your slinger's strong. we got to protect our home base here, boys. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.